Hello and welcome to Geeky Bit. Today in tech history, I'd like to talk to you about first class. No, not the kind of service you get on an airline cruiser, but the application. So what in the world is first class? Well, it's a client and server software that allows you to share messages, files, meetings, progress reports, and is a database all in one place. Some people call it the Macintosh version of a BBS or a GUI BBS. Those are all true, but it is mostly used by schools and not private individuals. First class was made by SoftArk, Originally back around 1990-1991, it became popular as a BBS for Macs originally. First Class has changed hands a few times to its current owner, which is OpenText. And the last version of First Class is 6.0, released back in 2016. Here are a couple images illustrating what First Class looks like, the later version and the earlier version. I would have loved to give you a video presentation, but I couldn't find any active BBSs for First Class. With all of that out of the way, let's talk about my story with First Class Client. In mid-1996, my best friend Marcus told me about this cool new BBS where we could get stuff to run on our executor Mac emulator. We couldn't get the first class client to work directly inside of executor as we couldn't get our computer's physical modem to work inside of the emulation software. Luckily for us, there was a Windows client though. Back then we used client 3.5.1. It was amazing. It felt like browsing a Macintosh computer remotely. Marcus and I got all sorts of demos and freeware to try on our executor emulators. First class was miles beyond text-based BBSs, in my opinion at least. And once the internet got more popular, we were able to connect to the first class BBS via the internet. All of us friends started using that first class BBS server to share files that were slightly larger than a floppy, but were too small to take over via zip drive or USB disk. Sadly, around 1999, the BBS's host stopped operations, and a lot of us missed that easy to use GUI BBS. In fact, still to this day, I wish there were an old retro first class BBS. Here are my thoughts on first class. I think SoftArk and the later companies that owned first class missed out by focusing on the education sector instead of internet BBS operators. I think it would be great to see someone use the old abandonware first class server to make an old retro style BBS. Sadly, I don't know if that would be legal unless they had an old uh, license laying around somewhere. I know that this video was a little shorter than the average, but I did plan on having live video of the application. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to find a retro BBS. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, feel free to click that like button. And if you're not subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you want to get notifications of my future videos, remember to click that bell button.